Hello everyone. Today we are going to talk about alternative notations for modeling data, part of database management system course. In addition to the entity relationship model, there are several other notations that are commonly used for modeling data in the databases. Relational model. The relational model represents data as a collection of tables with each table containing rows and columns. Tables are related to each other using foreign keys, which are used to establish relationships between the tables. The relational model is the most widely used model for implementing databases in database management system. Object-oriented model. The object-oriented model represents data as objects that contain both data and behavior. Objects are organized into cl classes and the relationships between objects are defined using inheritance and aggregation. The object-oriented model is commonly used in programming languages and is often used in conjunction with the relational model to implement databases. Semantic model. The semantic model represents data as a collection of entities and relationships similar to the ER model. The main difference is that the semantic model includes additional information about the meaning and context of the data, which can be used to improve the accuracy and quality of the data. Network model. The network model represents data as a collection of records that are connected by pointers. It is similar to the relational model, but allows for more flexible relationship between the records. The network model was popular in the 1970s and 1980s, but has largely been replaced by the relational model. There are many different notations that can be used to model the data in databases and the choice of notation will depend on the specific needs of the database and the preferences of the designer. It is important to be careful while considering the strengths and limitations of different notations when designing a database to ensure that the chosen notation is appropriate for the task at hand. Some of the factors that might influence the choice of notations include the complexity of the data, the needs of the users, and the capabilities of the DBMS that will be used to implement the database. It is also worth noting that it is common to use multiple notations in a single database design. For example, the ER model might be used for conceptual design, while the relational model is used to implement the database in a DBMS. By using multiple notations, it is possible to take advantage of strength of each notation and create a database that is well organized and efficient. Thank you for watching.